and welcome back, viewer. Normally, this is where I'd apologize for subjecting you to the boiling septic pit of ignorance known as The View. But apparently, this is what you want to see. And by what you want to see, I mean another episode of Holy sh the view is so racist and by racist i mean all of you if you are white and also happen to notice that kamala harris gives speeches like she's stoned out of her mind because she has this tendency um, they call it the word salad but where she starts to almost i don't know if she's going off script and and ad-libbing or or improving and if that's the case she needs to stay on script if it's her speechwriter, they need to change yeah. the speechwriter. because when you're two years in they need to protect her more yeah, clip. well i don't need to go to i was using that clip to show it, and i think everyone seen it when she starts to well we'll just show the clip then it's the significance of the passage of time right the significance of the passage of time so when you think about it there is great significance to the passage of time right. that's racist and she will fairly or unfairly be the most scrutinized vice president in history because she's running with the oldest vice or the oldest president running for president and she's history. also a black woman but i think you have to be able to fairly just look at that smug look of self-satisfaction she really thinks she owned her on that one she's a black woman well, I guess that about wraps that up because there's nothing else to say apparently because being black means you're above scrutiny. And no offense, but Kamala Harris isn't exactly a black woman. She's half Jamaican and half Indian. Her Jamaican father was actually half white, but I get it, I get it. Making her a black woman comes with certain privileges, like avoiding legitimate criticisms of the freaking vice president. This is what we expect from racist Sonny Hostin though, who has a very long history of not just attacking white people who she once compared to roaches, but also other Indian people who she considers race traitors like Nikki Haley, along with black and Latino people who don't agree with her views. I think you have to be able to to fairly critique the vice president of the United States mm -hmm. without just saying it's the color of their skin or the fact she's a woman. But it, but it is part of it. Why, what makes you say that? Well, we're in the United States of America. But like with like someone like me saying it, do you, do you think I can have a legitimate policy? Of no, you, 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 it's, it's, you. It's, 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 uh, would that be the same United States that gave your prissy little ass a millionaire lifestyle and your own TV show where you can be as ignorant and racist as you want without fear of any pushback whatsoever? It amazes me how brimming with hatred, racism, and paranoia she is as she accuses everyone else of being those things. She hates this country and isn't afraid to say it, which is just mind-blowing considering her entire lavish lifestyle is thanks to this country. There's literally nothing America could do outside of ceasing to exist, making her dictator, or shipping all the whites to a camps that would appease her. You, 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 it's, not it's, you. It's, 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 it's not you, it's just we're in the United States of America. What? And, and, and black women, and this is just not me saying it, I mean, there have been studies, black women. What are these studies she knows so well, but never cites or shows? Are considered less articulate, uh, they are considered uglier, they are considered all of these She's things. She's beautiful, I would by, yeah. by, <laughs> What? By, you know, this country, and it's because of the history, of course, of misogyny. Of course! See, it doesn't matter how you actually think or feel, or even if you vote for black men and women to lead this country. You're still a racist if you have anything outside of slavish, bootlegging adoration to say. But Sunny's not done, no. Now she's gonna tell us her theory. You might call it a racist conspiracy theory. I, I think that women, white women in particular, want to protect the patriarchy here because it's to their benefit. Yeah. They wanna make sure that their husbands do well, they wanna make sure that their sons do well, they want to make sure that their children do well, and they want to make sure that they do well. Here's a good idea. Have a point. Wow, you know so much about this entire group of people, how they think, how they feel, and based on nothing but their skin color. <laughs> it's almost like we have a word for that. There was a little Spanish flea. A record star, he thought he'd be. Wild to me that she just says these things out loud. You got that? If you're white and you want your family to do well, that means you're the enemy, apparently. I guess we're just supposed to go away and forget our own self-interest or that other groups don't also want their families to do okay? This is just crazy. I'm amazed that they allow this stuff on the national airwaves. But that's all I can take of it for now. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys on the other one.